السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم on behalf of Marqas Sahaba, the voice of Ahlul Sunnah wal Jama'ah, we present to you lesson number 2415 of our daily nasiha and advice. Today, with the grace and mercy of Almighty Allah Jalla Wala, we focus on the 10th of Zul Hijjah. The Hadith Sharif is mentioned in Ibn Majah and his authentic Hadith. Qala al-Nabiyyu sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, Mustafa sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, Man kana lahu sa'atun, that whosoever has the means, ay yudahiya to, to slaughter and sacrifice, meaning that they have the financial means, you have to take everything we got extra into consideration, and remember that still he does not slaughter, walam yudahi, yet person does not make the qurbani, no on the 10th, 11th, 12th, فَلَا يَقْرَبَنَّ مُسْوَلَّانَ He should not come to the Eid Ga, meaning that he should not celebrate Eid with us. So it shows this is a wa'id. Wa'id means a strong, strong, stern warning from Mustafa sallallahu alayhi wa Therefore the Hanafi ulama say it's wajib upon a person who is sane, mature, and has the means. And means don't mean money only, extra clothing, extra kata, cutlery, crockery, cell phones, all these are extra things. And remember that our, you know, so many other things we have extra. So we should add all that and make qurbani. And if we can't do so at home, then you send the money with some credible and organization with whom you have 100% confidence in, then they can do that on your behalf overseas also. So even now it does late hour, it can still be done. So mashallah, our advice will be that we should look for a view and avenue that way we can perform the qurbani. Don't look for loopholes and so forth where we don't perform qurbani. So much so, according to Shafi's, Maliki's, Hanbalis, if you slaughter one goat or one sheep for the whole family, so that also will suffice according to majority scholars. So there also there is no problem. Let us, inshallah, revive the sunnah. We see today that people, and it's Sunday this year, so we have no excuse, really speaking. So inshallah, we can still purchase the animal, and inshallah, Sunday we make the qurbani, or we send the money overseas with some organization that we have firm, 100% confidence in. So let us revive the sunnah, and be kulli sha'aratin hasana, for every hay on the animal, Animal, we will inshallah receive the reward we will be teaching our children that what is qurbani all about it's holidays it's sunday so absolutely no excuse we have let us inshallah motivate and inspire our family members as well that this is a great great sunnah and sunnah meaning that from the hadith sharif from fiqh point of view is wajib according to hanafis and shafis and mc sunnah muakkada so anyway if you you people do so that also will absorb the others according to Shafi's humblies and so forth. So we should be forced slaughtering, read the dua inni wa jahatu wa jiyalilladi fatara samawati wal arda hanifa wa ma ana min mushrikeen. The dua of Khalilullah Ibrahim alayhi salam and inna salati wa nusuki wa mahyaya wa mamati lillahi rabbil alameen la sharika la. So everything must have tawheed. We do everything for the love and pleasure of Almighty Allah. And after the qurbani, we beg Almighty Allah for acceptance. Allah Jalla Wala bless us all. Taqabbal Allahu minna wa minkum. Ameen. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.